First time I have ever made this. I would like to spend a moment to explain why I mixed everything together and just do things like this from now on. You see, I don't watch a lot of television, but I love how the concept works. There's a show and it consists of different parts and episode after episode it delivers the same thing. So basically what I did is just put different parts together and this is the result. I did this because I just don't really want to uh, spend much time with each kind of episodes because I believe if I put everything together I have a good excuse why the quality isn't so good. And by quality I don't mean obviously the video quality, I mean the, the quality of the story. So let's take an example. For example, yeah I just did that. Well, that was not very clever, but anyway. So, an example. Let's say that I have a project for teaching Hungarian and for the news and everything else. Now, what happens here is basically that you... I believe that then the audience requires the quality to be quite high. But if I do them all together, I hope, like I said before, it's going to be a good excuse. So, today, we will have three parts. First part is not this part, but the second. First, second. Anyway. Uh, the next part is going to be a little bit Hungarian, about the language. The part after that will be some news about Hungary. I believe that they are going to be very interesting. And then I will talk about whatever I want to talk about. When it comes to actually speaking the language, you might find hard to pronounce some of the letters. This is because these letters are not in the English alphabet. So when I say some of the letters, in this example, I really mean these three and these two. I know that these are not all of the hard-to-be-pronounced letters, but for now, they should be enough. So I thought it would be a good idea just to give you some advice. Now, I always say, when it comes to the letters, that every sound has an equivalent in the other language. So, for example, when it comes to the letter O, you might find this sound in the door word of English. So, when you think of O, try to remember door. When you think of E, uh, it's certain. I believe if you pronounce it very clearly, perhaps you might find both of these E's in the word. Or perhaps it's just my pronunciation. No matter, I hope that it helps. Now, when it comes to E, uh, I found the word Möbius in, well, let's say the, the dictionary or in Google. U is definitely screw. I believe that with every pronunciation, every accent, this still screw. U is für. I believe that für is not a clean U, but perhaps it helps. 
The problem with U is that uh, I have haven't found any good words with it, but if you try to pronounce für as a long, long word, then you might find it a good example. Now, obviously, a question rises, how the hell can you remember all these things? And I believe the answer is in our brains. The brain functions where by connecting dots in here. So, I know it's not the most biological explanation, but uh, basically what you see, what you hear, what you experience will become parts of your brain and then you connect the dots. And that's how you make abstract uh, things in your mind. For example, uh, take one picture from an old, uh, of an old lady and another picture of, um, I don't know, perhaps uh, an office. And these are two different things, but you can connect them. So, when I wrote these words, I wrote them in the hope that you might remember these words because perhaps they were funny. And then, when it comes to remembering the pronunciation, then you might find some help in your brain. Well, I don't know about that, but, you know. The person above the Prime Minister is the President of Hungary. He is responsible for vetoing all the bad laws the Parliament might create. And of course, to sign the good ones, which are uh, a benefit. Also, he represents our country, both here at home and on foreign soil. The current president is Schmidt Pahl, former Olympic fencer. Of course, I should be more polite when saying his name, because he's actually Dr. Schmidt Pahl. His PhD work was qualified summa cum laude, according to the news. But that's not interesting enough, is it? So, according to news tradition, or the tradition of mainstream media, here comes a great scandal. A couple of days after New Year's Eve, there was a news article about our president stating that his PhD work is actually just a copy-paste from a Bulgarian sportsman's the presidential office, obviously, refused all accusations made in the article. A couple of days later, the very university who made him a graduate student set up a committee to actually inspect. They said it's going to take at least two months to determine this thing. And, of course, how it affects our view of our president, that's what I'm going to talk about. Until then, more about the president. Schmidtbal is a yes man, according to several news sources. Which means he signs everything which has been uh, put in front of him. This allowed our leader political party, Fides, to make any laws, whichever they wanted to make. This includes the very controversial law which contradicts the European Union Constitution. I'm talking about, of course, about the fact that now the Central Bank of Hungary is now under the direct influence of the government. Institution leaders are now appointed by the Prime Minister. And of course, this action of our 
first man. Let Fides to just create the one level tax system, which creates very hard conditions for those who earn the minimum wage. And now back to the scandal. A couple of days ago, on January 21st, I believe, a couple of demonstrators informally stripped Schmidt Pal of his doctor title, while others were protesting for the government, stating that its action or its actions were actually rightful and good. So the future of Hungary is still not decided. Some of our people want the change, want that the government should resign, and the others do not. And now to the studio. So the question is, is it possible to respect a person who lies about their credentials? And I believe that People living in different parts of the world would react differently to that because uh, history is a very powerful thing when it comes to um, judging people. So to answer that particular question which I asked before, we really need to analyze um, the behavior of um, an average Hungarian and we really have to look uh, beyond the now and just go back a little bit in history. I believe I have talked about this stuff before but I I don't want to uh, be neglect um, so I mentioned them again and again and again in Hungary, partly because we are a small country and partly because we have an affinity to do such things, uh, connections, human connections, are really the ones who would help you advancing in life. It doesn't really matter how, um, how talented you are, but if you have the good connections, doesn't it's just impossible not to use them. It's like temptation. Like the Bible says, people were very curious and tried the apple. And nowadays Hungarians are very curious and try to exploit family and uh, friend kind of relationships, of course. So whenever something like this happens, somebody lies about something, uh, this is the first thing that comes into mind, at least to my mind and many of my friends minds and I believe in the typical Hungarian mind works like this, so maybe if you are a really big fan of the person we are talking about, then you would react differently, but you know, it's, um, it's all about judgment. So when it comes to representing our country, it's, it really looks bad if somebody um, you know, lies about stuff. I believe this is not the, the worst thing that somebody did in history. And I don't talk about, uh, I will not talk about Hitler anymore. I'm talking about uh, other uh, country leaders. But it's a pretty big thing to us Hungarians because um, much like uh, Arab people, as I learned, um, about a year ago, we both are really, really proud of our credentials and knowledge, especially our knowledge. So, 
um, Hungarian people tend to know everything in the world. We don't really ask questions, we just tell things. So, and if you have, uh, if you're a doctor, for example, like this person, the first man of the country, it really looks good. It really looks, uh, it really uh, aids that thing we do to know everything. So when a first man takes judgment on other countries or whatever, well, we have to believe him. Now, on the other hand, now, uh, this is really embarrassing because how are we able to trust him? Seriously. He claimed to know everything, like an average Hungarian. And now, he doesn't seem to know much. And you see, it's a little bit crazy. But when it comes to judgments, we are really good at that. So, especially negative judgment. That's another really, really strong thing that we Hungarians do. If you uh, accomplish something, well, you were lucky. If you screw something up, well, that's completely your fault. But I go furthermore. If we screw something up, it's still your fault. I believe you know people like this. Because this is not a typical Hungarian thing. I mean, th this is not in our genes. This is not in our gene pool. So, but uh, I believe that there are people like this in all parts of the world. And just think about that person for a moment. Multiply it by 10 million. And there you go. You've got a country at your hand. So, in this system, it's a disaster. So is it possible to respect a person who lies about their credentials? No, it's absolutely not possible anymore. It's not that we respected our uh, officials so far. I mean, until this point, we disrespected them all the time. Uh, because, mainly because we think that as individuals we know better. So, whenever there's a political stuff going on, some decision um, is made, then it's, it, 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 it can't be good. Of course, in these videos I try to talk about um, reality, so I really, really hope that I could achieve that level some you know a little bit over than the average Hungarian judgment level and I just um, I'm just able to express my opinion on any particular subject without any negative um, sort of voice so when it comes to the actions of the Hungarian government they're still pretty bad, but um, it's not even backed up by credentials anymore. I mean, I've heard, this is just rumor, I have to warn you, this is just rumor, but I, I have heard that maybe uh, the head of the Supreme uh, Court, or something like that, were a very uh, high level, uh, the head is a woman who's a wife of some sort of uh, a minister. Um, I don't know, it's not the prime minister, but um, somebody, a politician. And she, she has a high school graduation. Now, I don't want to take judgment on that. It's just, when it comes to knowing the law, it's, it's um, a... I believe it helps if you actually go to a university to study law. Much like if you want to be a physicist, you really should, you know, just uh, uh, go to um, a university and study physics. We are not all uh, goodwill hunting. We're not. 
Right. And I believe this is the end. Wow, dude, I can believe this is just in. Molive, the one and only big Hungarian um, airline, just bankrupted yesterday. Can you imagine that? On January the 3rd, Malev declared bankruptcy, which means that uh, a half a year ago, a government promised 1 million jobs to be made available for people. And now, after the bank offices closing and stuff, Malev sent away a couple of thousand people. That looks pretty bad. I believe that is pretty bad. Thanks for watching. That's just my way of saying goodbye. By the way, I'm trying to make these really awesome business cards in 40 year old style. So I hope I can achieve this stuff, you know, because I really want to achieve the style of a 40 year old. That could be my goal in life. Going back to childhood, ladies and gentlemen. Going back to childhood. Yeah. There you go. And. <laughs> now you were the witness of making a business card. That is nasty. It's really nasty. Yeah, by the way, you, you really should shut off the video now, because it doesn't go anywhere better. It's just, it's going to be like this for a while. It's clean. It's pretty awesome.